Good morning. Sorry for the terrible lighting. It is only 7.36 in the morning here. As you saw, I just pulled into Jazzercise. I thought that I would do this week's grocery haul just a little bit differently, kind of do it vlog style, take you guys with me throughout the day or at least through the grocery shopping portion of my day today. I'm at Jazzercise to get my workout in and I'm just excited to do this grocery haul just a little bit different than normal. So if you are excited for another grocery haul, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below for my three recipe ebooks. Recipe book number four in the final ebook is coming out shortly. You're also going to find nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you read your goals. Links, discounts to all my favorite things. And don't forget to head on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So I'm going to go in, get my workout in. Actually, I'm going to take my pre-workout. Then I'm going to go do my workout and then we will head to the grocery store. So I hope you enjoy this more vlog style grocery haul for the week. One hour later. All right, jazzercise is done. You can still see all the sweat dripping down my face. It was a long class. It was over an hour today. I have 38 active minutes and 5,300 steps. I'm pretty sure I earned myself Starbucks. So let's head to Starbucks, get food, coffee, and then we're heading to Trader Joe's. Okay, can I have a spinach and feta wrap? Yeah, of course, a spinach feta wrap. And a venti of the almond milk chocolate shake and espresso with light ice. And then a venti almond milk chocolate shake and espresso with light ice. Anything else? Nope, that's everything. Come on down, thank you. Thank you. I have secured the goods. I have my coffee and my feta wrap. officially at grocery pickup at Walmart and then we'll head home and we'll go through this week's grocery haul, meal plan, and meal prep. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to both Trader Joe's and Walmart grocery pickup. There's a little something here for the dogs and they know Palmer. Say I know there's something here for me. Is there something here for you? Is there? You gotta be patient. Patience. Everybody patient. Since they're not the most patient, let's do their goodies first. So Trader Joe's had a new dog treat. This is called the Chew Cooterie Assorted Flavored Dog Treats. And it looks like there is cheddar cheese, provolone cheese, prosciutto, and salami flavored. So let's go ahead and give one to them. Eat. Okay, back into the grocery haul. I also picked up some very small garbage bags since Washington State now charges for grocery bags and we always reuse those in our garbage cans. Troy takes them for his truck at work. So I picked up some Glad miniature garbage bags. Real bacon bits, this is for a meal prep recipe. It was either bacon bits or crumbled up bacon and I just thought this would be much easier. Picked up these cute little candy eyeballs for our little Halloween get together. I'm making a Halloween charcuterie board. Of course, I'll share with you guys 
all the Halloween inspired meals that I make for that little get together. So I picked these up. These are super cute. I also needed white American cheese for a recipe for the Halloween party. Grabbed a box of turkey corn dogs just to have on hand so that we had quick, simple, easy lunches or dinner. You can just toss these in the oven or the air fryer. They are so, so delicious. Small can of tomato paste for a dinner recipe. Large black olives. This is a for the charcuterie board. A can of petite diced tomatoes also for my meal prep. I remember this pub cheese as a kid and I remember it being so good. It was kind of a cheese log with nuts. It was so delicious, but I grabbed the sharp cheddar. I thought that I could add this to the charcuterie board. A restock of my light shredded cheese for dinner recipes. A couple of different meats for the board. I have some Italian dry salami salami and some pepperoni. And then I also picked up just a ton of super fun cheeses at Trader Joe's. This is this organic pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack is my very favorite cheese. Green goddess gouda. I thought this looked so good with basil and herb. The Cotswold double glue Chester cheese, Gloucester. I've never had this cheese. Again, I just thought it was pretty. It would be a nice touch to the board. And then just some extra sharp cheddar cheese from Cabot. Food coloring for a little treat that I'm making for the Halloween party. I had to pick up a bottle of my very favorite kombucha, the GT's Fall Edition Living in Gratitude. This one is so delicious. I just grab one every time I go to Trader Joe's. I also saw this caramelized onion dip and I thought that this would be a nice addition to the charcuterie board as well. Two cans of pizza pizza crust. I actually ordered the thin and they substituted for the classic. This is again for the little Halloween get together. I'm making a pumpkin dip and it has a pumpkin crust on it as a as I mentioned, I'll be sharing all those recipes with you, or at least showing you the end product when I put together the little get together. Cheese tortellini for a dinner recipe. I needed crescent rolls for our Halloween party. I'm making mummy wrapped hot dogs. That's going to be so cute and so fun. So for hot dogs, I picked up the ballpark bun size all beef hot dogs. These were longer, so I thought that they would be cuter for those mummy wrapped dogs. Only skinless chicken breast because we are just about out and I don't have enough until my big Costco run. Sharp cheddar cheese slices for Troy sandwiches. And then I needed shredded Monterey Jack for a dinner recipe. I did pick up a block of sharp cheddar cheese. This is for the Halloween party. I needed just a small amount of blocked cheese. So I ordered 1.25 pounds of roast beef and instead I got a whopping 0.33 pounds, which is enough maybe for one sandwich for Troy. So he is going to stop and pick up some more roast beef. He's doing roast beef and the cheddar cheese for his sandwiches. A white pumpkin and a little orange pumpkin that I picked up at Trader Joe's for the charcuterie board. A big French baguette. This is pretty soft. I think I'm going to pop open the end. I wanted to get a little bit of that crusty bread vibe for the board. I'm just going to rip it into pieces. We could dip it in the caramelized onion dip or the pub cheese. I just thought that a crusty bread would make a nice addition. And then I did pick up these sweetened dried orange slices for the board. These are just so pretty and they're orange, the perfect color for Halloween. A loaf of bread for Troy's sandwiches. And then for the charcuterie board, I picked up this organic cracker assortment from Trader Joe's. I buy this every year for Christmas. The crackers in here are so good. And you get like five or six different kinds for $3.99. So it's a really good deal. And it's a good assortment of different crackers. A bag of the Trader Joe's corn dippers for Troy and his French onion dip. And then for produce, I grabbed a bag of sweet onions and then some organic limes for my water. I do have an imperfect foods order coming on Monday where I picked up some extra produce. So that is everything besides a case of Diet Coke and Coors Light for this week's grocery haul. Let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is my meal plan for the week of October 23rd through the 29th. Today, Saturday, of course, is an out for dinner day. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making French onion chicken bake. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat today, so stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm making potato soup because it sounds really good. Tuesday is leftovers. Wednesday is BLTs because my lovely husband would like BLTs again. Thursday is a leftover night because Friday is our little Halloween party with our friends and that way we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here is what you guys will be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I'm really excited for this week's recipe. So for breakfast, I'm making a cinnamon swirl pumpkin bread. Doesn't that sound amazing? And then for lunch is cheeseburger tortellini soup and dessert, I'm making pumpkin snickerdoodles. My husband wanted cookies, so I thought 
pumpkin and snickerdoodles sounded amazing. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up at both Trader Joe's and Walmart. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this type of a grocery haul if you like the vlog style or if you prefer just the straight grocery haul let a girl know down in the comments check out the description box down below for the three recipe ebooks nutrition coaching links discounts to all my favorite things and my facebook group head on over join us there we'd love to have you happy saturday friends and i'll see you all in tomorrow's video bye